question number five on the 12a. So we want to find out two polynomials, okay? These two polynomials have a root in common. Okay, we want to find the value of k for that to happen and just add up all the possible values of k. All right, so let's see how many choices we have. Okay, first of all, this polynomial we, we know completely. This is a factorable, okay? So this polynomial is x minus 1, x minus 2. So the two roots of this polynomial is, uh, uh, the two roots are 1 and 2. So if they have a common root, that means one of these is a common root. So what if 1 is a common root? If 1 is a common root, then the second second polynomial, you plug in 1, it should be 0, right? So then we, we calculate that, 1. Uh, minus 5 plus k equals 0. So in this case, k has to be 4. Okay, so what if 2 is the common root? Then we plug in 2 to the second polynomial. It's a 4 minus 10 plus k is equal to 0. So in this case, actually the minus, okay. 4 minus 10, okay, in this case, k has to be 6. Okay, these are the only two possibilities. And then there are two values, 4 and 6. So the sum is equal to 10. The answer is E. Okay, 